Okay, so let's do our homework, I guess. Um, let's take a look at this. Uh, let's, we can zoom in a bit. Let's take a look. Zoom in a bit. Oh, that's too much. It's slightly better. Okay, that's, that's about right. Okay. Here we go. So let's start out with this. So our first question was to draw this circuit. Um, in order to figure this one out, um, you have to know order of operations. So the very first thing that we do actually is going to be uh, this guy over here. We're going to say not y. And the next thing we do is we order these guys together. Then we and that product with z. That's I should say that some uh, not product and some. Um, we're going to order these two guys, and then we're going to and it with z. And then finally we're going to or that with not x. So, essentially the way we draw a circuit follows from that. <coughs> so, let's just list our variables over here. We have x, we have y, and we have z. And let's say start. So we have, first thing we do is not y. So we're going to say not y. So we're not y over here. And the next thing we do, we say, well, let's have, we're going to or that with x. So we have x over here. Let's or these guys together. Okay, so that's oring them. Okay, that's the or gate. And we're going to take that result. That's going to be x or not y. Okay. And then we're going to and that with z. So we're going to take this whole thing. We're going to just do a little and gate over here. Just doing that. Okay. There's an and gate. And then finally, finally, we take this whole thing, we're going to draw a little circle over here. And we're going to take this, and we're going to or that with not x. So here's not x, not x. And we're going to take these two guys, and finally we're going to say or them together. So let's or them together. So that is by the way, x or not y and z, that's or with not x, so we end up with that whole expression. So we have x or not y and z, or not x. So that should be your first answer. Okay, let's take a look at the truth table for this. So, remember how we draw truth tables. The very first thing we do is we figure out what our inputs are. So we have x and we have y. And yeah, those are our truth table. That's it, our inputs, so we'll say x and y. Okay. All right, so we have two inputs over here. So therefore, we're going to have four uh, rows here, right? We have four rows. So we just count a binary from zero all the way down to three. So, whoops, let me do that. Do, 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 do. Oh no, my eraser, where'd it go? Let's check it out, eraser. There we go. All right, let's go back to pin mode. Good, let's go away. Okay, so zero, one, zero, 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 one, one. Okay. So there's our possibilities. Notice that we're counting a binary from 0 to, to 3. Okay, so now we have x and y. So let's remember what x and y is. That's x and y inverted. Okay, and then we have x nor y, which is just this. So, okay, that's pretty straightforward. So we have x and y inverted. So that's just going to be. Uh, 1, 1, 1, 0. Oh. This over here, uh, x or y inverted. So that would be uh, 1, 0, oh, 0, oh, 0. Oh. The reason I know that, by the way, just in case you don't remember, uh, if we want to do the intermediate thing, we say x and y, just remember that it's going to be uh, 0, 0, 0, 1, whereas x or y is going to be um, 0, 1, 1, 1, and as you, as you can see, this is, this over here, 
this, uh, these guys are the inverse of these guys over here. Likewise, these guys are the inverse of these guys. Moving on, let's go to the truth table, exclusive or, and x nor. So we have basically the same setup. Okay. So this is just basically memorization. So 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, uh, 1, 0, 1. Exclusive or is this guy over here. And exclusive nor is just that guy inverted. So if you know exclusive or, you should say, well, it's 0, 1, 1, 0. The reason? Because exclusive or is asking, are the bits different? And they are in these two cases. Exclusive nor is saying, are they the same? So it's the same in those two cases. This one, oops, and that one. Come on, there you go. All right. That's that. Let's keep moving on. Easy stuff. That, that's the easy stuff. I'm sure you can figure that one out. Let's see. Oops. A bit up a bit. Okay. So 156 in binary. Yeah, that's what this means. Binary. So okay. <coughs> 156. Um, figure out what's the highest power of two. Oops, I have some leftover stuff. Um, the uh, highest power of two that goes into 156 is going to be 128. So. Um, so I have my 1, my 2s, my 4s, my 8s, my 16s, my 32s, my 64s, my uh, 128. So we have 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128. Okay, great. So put a 1 over there for my 128. So get rid of 128 over here. So that's going to be, let's see what I have left. So it's going to be 4. Right, so that's. Um, 16 minus uh, 8 is going to leave me with uh, 8. And over here, I have 4, so that's going to be 28. All right, so, all right, so I have my 1s, my 2s, my 4s, my 8s, my 16s, my 32s. Now, 16 goes into 28, but 32 does not. So, so 1, 2, 4, 8, 16. So this box is going to write a 1 because 16 goes into that. Put 0, 0 over here. So what's left? We have 12 left. Okay, so 1, 2, 4, 8. Well, 8 goes into 12. And this is going to be 4. Right, so 1, 2, 4. Well, there you go. There you have it. That's our conversion. Okay. Uh, let's see what else. Okay, so now we have 436 in binary. It's going to be, let's see, so I guess there's already a bit of, a bit of work that I did already. Um, we have a 1, or 2, or 4, or 8, or 16, or 32, or 64, or 128. Uh, that's not quite right. We should have 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, wait, 1, 2, 4, 8, uh, 16, 32, 64, 128, 256. 512 does not go into 236, but 256 does, so let me get rid of 256 over here. So what do we have left? Let's take a look. This is going to be 0 over here. Um, this should be 3. So 13, uh, so 5 goes into 13. Uh, we have uh, 8, right? Yeah, 8. And so this will be 180. Oops. 180. <coughs> Okay, uh, now 128 goes into that, so get rid of that, so, so 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128, so 128 did go into that, so, alright, um, let's see what's left, do that real quick, do the math, um, it's going to be 7, it's going to be 2, and it's going to be uh, 5. So let's see, 52, um, now 64 does not go into 52, but 32 does. 32, uh, so that's 
So let's see, 52 minus 32 is just going to be 20. Let's do 20 over here. So 16 goes into 20. That's the next one. So 16 goes there. So it leaves us with just 4. So now, there you go. So we're done there. 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128, 56. Yeah, so this is going to be the conversion there. Let's take a look. Some more ones over here. Um, Alright, we're going to convert this to octal. So we look at three bits at a time. So we have these three bits, uh, these three bits, and then these three bits. Okay, so <coughs> 110, um, let's see, yeah, that's just uh, 6. Okay, uh, 101, that's just um, 5. And 110 is just 6. There you go. Now, to convert this to decimal, we have to do this bit by bit. So, okay, we have 1s, 2s, 4s, 8s, 16, 32, 64, 128, and 256. So, really, we have 256. Let's go over here. So, it's like 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128. 256 plus 128 which is going to be um, four eighty. That's just four eighty. Okay. Uh, so that's those two guys. Let's see, plus thirty two. So that's going to be just doing the math here. Don't mind me, I'm doing math. Uh, is that right? It doesn't seem right. I think I'm doing something wrong here. Um, let's see, 32. <sighs> Wait, that's not 8. That should. Yeah, that's right, yeah. Hmm. Huh. Go figure, huh? I'm, hmm. This is. Very interesting, okay. Uh, that doesn't seem right. I think I made a mistake somewhere. Uh, wait. Yeah, obviously I made a mistake because here's how I know I made a mistake, right? Uh, 512 is just going to be this guy over here. If I had an extra bit, okay, so I goofed up. 6 plus 8 obviously is not. So let's erase this. Do, 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 do. Oh, dope. My eraser is not working for some reason. Okay, so I'll just switch to eraser mode. Goofed up. <laughs> All right, let's fix that. So six plus eight is fourteen. Oops. Let's go back to pin mode. Yeah, I'm in pin mode. Okay, so. All right, so that's fourteen. All right, so wait. Um, six plus two is eight. And then I don't carry anything. Yeah, I don't carry anything. So that's just going to be zero. So 2 plus 1 is 3, 8, 4. Yeah, that makes more sense. Yeah, right. Dum, 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 dum. Sometimes even the professor is kind of dumb. All right, let's see what else is there. Um, so, right, so that's, that's 256, 128, 32. So let's add in 32. That's going to be 6. That's going to be 1, 4, 16. Okay, this makes more sense. All right, now we're going to add in 8 plus 4 is 12. And then uh, plus 2 is 14, so 4, 16, plus 14, that's just going to be, that looks right, 430 in decimal. So there you go. It took me probably longer to do that than, uh, than it took you, I would imagine. So, okay, great. All right. Also some work I guess I did earlier. Okay. Um, Exclusive or. Um, again, exclusive or, the way that works, we're just saying, are these the same, right? So, uh, I'm sorry, are these different? So, is zero different than zero? Well, no, but these are different, so these are different. And these are not different. These are not different. These are, as are these. 
these are not. Okay, so far so good. Now, um, I've already done uh, this part over here. I've already done, as you can see, these are the same. Okay, but now I'm saying A exclusive or that guy. So, yeah, that's what this line here is indicating. So, I have A, this guy, this uh, column here, and exclusive or this column. So, we're doing a little exclusive or operation here. So, let's take a look at that. So, I'm going to look at this here as well as this here. So, is zero different than zero? Well, uh, no. Um, is there a different one? Yes. Is there a different than one? Yes. Erase that. Okay. There we go. Wait. So, right. Uh, yeah, that's okay. They're not different. Those are different. Um, and then finally, yeah. Okay, great. So you should get this. All right. Do, 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 do. Let's see what else we have. Okay, Boolean algebra uh, algebra application. Okay, great. So this is where it gets fun. It's interesting here. Um, let's see, do I have got something on water? Or no, that's huh, okay. Well, anyway, um, so we have this thing over here, right? This is our uh, f over here is equal to that guy, and then we say, well, f and uh, not f I should say is equal to this guy. We're trying to we're trying to say, okay, well, if we invert this guy, uh, then we should get, and if we simplify, we should get this guy. So let's take a look. Um, by the way, there's two ways to invert. There's the slow De Morgan's law way. There's also um, a different way. Um, the other way to do this is to take the dual of this expression here and then flip the literals. So remember uh, to invert, just review, you can invert by taking the dual and then flip the literals. So let's do that. Let's do it the fast way. So I'm going to do that. So we have over here, now to take the dual, we, the first thing we have to do is we have to put our shields up, so to speak. So we surround these guys over here. All right. Um, now I'm going to exchange the ands with the ors. So um, so let's do that. So I have we have uh, not x or y and uh, let's see x or y or z or not z I should say. So this is the dual form. Now I got to flip the literals. So let's do that. Oops. The pin erase is not working for some reason. Okay, whoops. Flip too much. Okay. So let's flip those literals. So I can use this for reference, by the way. Um, okay. Great. So over here, so we originally had y. I'm going to say not y now. Over here, we originally had x. I'll say not x. Here we had y, so I'll say not y. And here we had not z, so I'll leave this as z. So now we've done both. So this is, by the way, the this is now correct. This is correct now because we did these two steps. So we took the dual and then flipped the literals. So we're done there. Okay, now the next step. Let's take a look. What we want to try to do is we want to say, is this expression here, is that the same as this expression here? So what we got to do is simplify. Now, I don't know if I mentioned this. Um, perhaps, perhaps not. Um, but now we should know. Um, you can do the equivalent of FOIL in Boolean algebra. What I mean is, uh, it's a distributive law, effectively. But um, if I were to take these guys, I say, well, this is the same as x and not x, right? So this and that or x and not y or x and not z or x and z I should say x and z yep um, or we have not y and not x we have not y and not y or not y and z. Okay, so there you have it. Okay, so that's that's all that. That looks like a that's my y over there. Kind of dorky. Okay, 
So this is our whole expression. Now, if we look at this expression here, um, I can uh, simplify a bit. Uh, if I take a look at these guys, I say, well, um, as we can see, uh, uh, this is, uh, so the law here is the uh, complementarity. Basically, if we see this guy over here, well, we can get rid of that. So we can say, well, this is um, x or, or x and not x. So I'm going to just highlight that and say, well, you know, that's just, okay, that's, that becomes zero. Uh, that we can get rid of that term. Um, see what else? Um, yeah, so let's get rid of that term. Okay, so now, uh, oops, excuse me. Back to the pin mode. Okay, so <coughs> let's see what else. So now we have what that leaves us with now is um, x and not y, or x and z, or uh, not y and not x, uh, or now this. By the way, here's another one. Um, so we have this one here. We can simplify this down because um, now I'm forgetting the law. Actually, let's, let's pull that up really quick. Um, do I have that? Let's see what. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Random thing. Okay, so let me go back to my website really quick. So <laughs> actually, I don't have my Boolean algebra in front of me, so let's pull it up really quick. Okay, so here we go. Um, what was the name of that law? I forget. Um, it was. You know what? I forget. Um, it's going to be on this side. That was complementarity. Um, ah, right. Identifitance, right. That's right. Um, so this is this over here. If I highlight that really quick, that's going to be uh, so let me do the same thing over here. Just highlight that. Okay. So this is going to be a uh, uh, dim potent. So there you go. So we can get rid of that, get rid of that term. Or, uh, sorry, we don't get rid of it. We just replace it with uh, not y. We have or not y and z. Okay, great. So now what we have, we still have, we still have some work to do, obviously. Um, we're not quite there yet, but we, you know, so we still have this term. We have this not y guy over here. We also have the uh, xz over here, right? So that leaves us with all these remaining terms. So we have not x, uh, sorry, x and not y, and we have not y and uh, not x, and then we have this guy over there. So, um, gee, that didn't really separate them out. So let me. Uh, in any event, so we have these two terms here, so that's good. Now, as it turns out, um, what we should see, what we should notice, by the way, is, well, we have this not y over here. We also have this x and not y. Well, in this case, if we see something like that, we say, well, we have y and we also have x and not y. We have um, x and not y, or uh, not y. Well, in this case, x is not really pulling its weight. So, in fact, let's go back really quick and take a look at that. Um, that's an example of um, one of these simplification theorems. Yeah, it's this one over here, uh, number 10. So, in this case, it'd be like uh, not y or uh, not y and x. That's the same thing as just not y. So, let's just simplify here. So, this is, let me show you what I mean. So, over here, I'm going to, this here is going to be, let me just highlight that really quick. So we have um, these guys over here. Um, this is going to be, just draw that really quick. There we go. Simplification. So, um, I can get rid of this guy over here. So now I have x and z, or not y and not x, or not y, or not y and z, 
Z. And in fact, actually, if we look at this really carefully, um, there's other simplifications we can do here. Um, as you can see, um, uh, we have not y or not y and x, or not or y, bleh, excuse me, not y or not y and not x. So we can simplify that as well. So we can do the same simplification. So let's just do that really quick. You. <laughs> excuse me. All right. Um, so here we go. So these two guys over here, these, I can get rid of this term over here because this takes care of all the cases of this and then some. Um, likewise, um, over here, I can get rid of this term as well because um, the same reason, the simplification theorem, I can get rid of that because th there's no difference. So now, let's see, what does it leave us with? So um, that means that we can now replace that all with just not y or x and z, which is exactly what we were trying to show in the first place. So there you go. All right, let's do the next one. Oh, wait, actually, let me do this up. Um, so, okay, so we have over here, let's see, we have our original expression. So let's just write that out over here. So let's draw a line here. So it's okay. So we have not x and y, or uh, x and y and not z. Okay. And let's see. So we have this whole thing. That's our, this is, by the way, our f. I'm trying to show that's just, so that's um, so we have not f. So let's write that out over here. So we have c not y or x and z. So that whole thing we're trying to show that this is equal to zero. Okay, that's what we're trying to show. So let's do that. Uh, we're going to do the same thing. We're just going to do the distributive law, which in this case amounts to FOIL, right? Um, so. Uh, we'll distribute these things out, so let's do that. So we have not y and so this guy over here, as well as this guy over here, so uh, not x and y. I don't know why it does that, anyway. Or we have not y and x and y and not z. Okay, so I'm gonna do that side. Now we're gonna do this one over here. So we have or x and z and this guy over here. So not x and y. And finally, over here, um, we're gonna do, what's it? x and z and x and y and not z. Okay. So that's, by the way, the distributive law that we just applied. So it's, it's this whole thing. By the way, I should have mentioned that over here. Whenever I do these proofs, I should always mention what I'm doing. So this kind of shows that inversion process. And then from here to there, that was just um, the distributive. Now, here's what I should notice. Here's where it gets fun. Let's go back to our Boolean algebra really quick. All right. So whenever we see this guy, x and not x, that's going to be equal to zero. So this is, by the way, complementarity. I think we have the same. Just keep it consistent here. So yeah, this yellow. Um, so we should take a look at this. We have y and not y. We have, let's see, um, same thing over here, not y and y. We have x and not x. We have z and not z. So that's going to be uh, right back over here. Um, so that's complementarity. Okay. 
consistency. <laughs> there we go. Eventually get the hang of this. Okay, so let me just highlight that. So we see that. So, all right. And by the way, if I do all that, right, um, this is this will amount to basically zero and not x, or zero oops, and x not z, or zero and z y, or zero and x. The word is really annoying me. Um, x, x, y. All right. Come on, word. Get with the program. OK. And so the 0 uh, and any of these guys is going to be 0. So uh, by the way, the theorem for that, let's take a look at that. That would be. That's just these basic operations. So it'll be this one over here. So um, that just simplifies a zero or zero or, come on, word. <laughs> uh, so zero or zero or zero or zero. Okay, which is just zero, which is, by the way, also here, zero or zero. Um, at this point, you don't really need to bother referencing them. Oops. Okay, so that's that. Let's look at the next one. Alright, so let's make sure we have these copies of both of these. So we have not y or what on earth is going on here? <laughs> uh, or, that's an or by the way. Um, x and z. I'm going to say xz. Um, or, let's see, what was the other one? x, uh, xy, or xy, z, not z. I think I'm trying to show that it's equal to 1. Hmm. Let's take a look at that. Um, I obviously don't need to have these parentheses here because or is just, I mean, parentheses aren't really necessary there, so, okay. Let's group these together again. Um, so I'm going to take a look at what these things are equal to. Um, we have, <coughs> let's see, we have, um, let's see if I remember correctly, oh yeah, um, you know what? Actually, let's, let's skip this for now. Let's, um, I want to move on to the next one really quick, and I'll come back to this in a moment. Let's just go down a bit. All right, we'll just skip ahead really quick. So um, we have our logic diagram and our Boolean expression. So here we have our Boolean expression. And I want to draw a logic diagram for that. So we'll just start with our inputs over here. x, we have y, and we have z. Okay. Uh, it could be a little hairy, but um, we're going to have our first guy is going to be x. We have not y. So this is not y. We have z. So these are gonna, they're all going to collapse down to our first uh, and. So this is x and not y and z. So that's just going to be this. And gate over here. This one over here. X, not Y, Z. Alright, we're also going to have, let's see. <coughs> okay. Draw a little line here. It'll be our not X. We're going to have our not Y. So I can draw another line over here. They're not y. And then we have just plain old z. I can draw another line over here. That's just z. Okay. So 
these two things and together like so. We have x dot y and z. Okay. And finally we have x and y and z. Well, it's kind of getting a little complicated, but uh, let's just draw a line over here. So we have x, y, and z. So let's just do that. Draw some lines real quick. So x y and finally z. So it's just going to be x and y and z. Um, your mileage may vary. It might look a little different, but as long as it's connected cor correctly, that's what matters. Right? And then finally, we take this whole thing and we pour it together. So there we go. That's what this expression is. So we have these guys, this guy, and that guy, which is right. That's the original expression. Let's go down a bit. Okay, what, what is this? Okay, um, I have a bunch of stuff here that I don't ex understand what's, what's going on here. So let me uh, erase these guys over here. I don't know what these are doing here. I don't know why those are there. Okay, so I'll get rid of those. Okay, so let's show the fluid in algebra. Actually, before we do this, let's go, before we do this, let's draw this expression here. We want to draw this guy here. So let's do that. We have x, we have y, and we have z. So we have x and z. Pretty straightforward. We have not y. And z. those together and then we or this whole thing together let's end up with this expression x z or y z so there you go much simpler all right let's see how it simplify this guy over here so we have all these things here. We have this guy, this guy, and this guy, and we want to show that that's the same as this guy. Alright, so the gist of it is this. Um, you notice we have this common term. We always want to look for redundancy, so we see some redundancy here. We have not y and z. We also see not y and z over here. We have x or not x. Well, we can factor that out, and that can just become uh, let's take a look at the, the theorem for that. I forget the name of the theorem. That's going to be or the law um, let's see, that's going to be which one of these guys? Um, I forget which one. I'm kind of blank in here. Even though it's right in front of me. Uh, yeah, it's the simplification here. So if we have anything, yeah, that's going to be simplification. So this just simplifies down to not y and z, these two guys. And then we have or x, y, z. Now you notice it's not quite the same as these two, right? We have x, z, or uh, x, y, z, right? Um, so why is that? Huh? Let's, let's see what's going on here. Um, so these two terms factored are reduced down, simplified down to just simplification. Um, so what we're actually doing here, we have we need to get rid of this thing over here. So well, what's going on there? Well, what we could do is actually look at our over here. If we got rid of these two, but we can also look at these. We can keep one of these guys over here. We have um, x, not y, and x and not y and z. We also have x, y and z. So actually, um, if I look at just these two terms, so like this term over here, as well as this term over here, right? Um, you notice that we have this not y over here and this y over here. That's another simplification. So what I could do without losing anything is I could just get rid of this middle guy over here. I can um, erase this part out in the middle. And so I end up with uh, x. So it's actually two simplifications that, that are happening here. So that, that's actually just 
what's going on. It's just two simplifications, so twice. All right, so there you have it. So actually, that's kind of a short proof, but yeah, you know, it's. I mean, you might want to write it out a little bit nicer than I did, but um, there you go. So finally, let's get to this one. All right. So we're going to do something kind of similar here. Um, so we have, um, what's it? Um, we have x and z. We have x and y and not z and all these other guys. Okay, lots of things going on here. So, I mean, what we could do without any, um, without any loss of uh, generality here is um, we say, okay, well, um, I can rewrite this. I have these two sides here. I have these two sides. And let's look at our laws again real quick. So um, I could, in principle, do this. I have my distributive law. And I say, well, um, if I have something and I weren't with y or z, I can actually replace that with uh, x or y and x or z. So let's, let's do that really quick. Let's just see what happens here. It's kind of like, like FOIL, but not quite. Um, so this was our not f, this is our f. So I'm going to say, uh, what's it? I'm going to say, um, let's make sure I remember what I'm doing here. <laughs> um, we have, right, um, each of those things or together and then and in the middle, right? So, so we have not y or x not x and y uh, and let's see what else do we have um, uh, not y or um, let's see wait uh, you know what I think I'm doing something wrong here I'm gonna I'm gonna stop there really quick I'm drawing a blank just a second Right, okay, I'm, I'm, well, it's early in the morning, okay, so let's erase this. Uh, sometimes when you do proofs, you leave, you get confused. I, I know I do, <laughs> okay, that's an understatement, I suppose. All right, so um, I'm going to forget these parentheses exist. Um, so one thing I can do really quick, right, uh, one thing I can do is to take a look over here and say, well, all right, um, I've got, oops, let me go away. Make some room here. Um, when I see um, not y, that's going to take care of a lot of situations. So um, we also have, um, you notice I also have not x and y. Um, and so as long as, um, so by the way, not y can expand out to this. It can expand to not x and not y, as well as x and not y. So we're kind of doing simplification in reverse, right? Um, so this is the same as what we had before. This was, you know, this y over here is expanding out to this, as well as that. Uh, we can do that. We can expand this out um, so that when we have not y in both cases. We have not x or x, basically. Now, um, here's the thing. If um, if z is false, right? We actually, if, so suppose we assume that z is false, right? So we have this x, y, z term over here. Um, so I could say, well, or x, y. Uh, so we're assuming now that uh, z is false. Let's assume that z is false. So we're assuming that. We're assuming not z essentially. Okay, um, this actually corresponds to all possible um, configurations of x and y, right? So we have x and y are both true; they're both false. X is false, y is false. This actually is all possibilities. So this we have. If this were a truth table, this would be, you know, we'd have one, uh, one, one, one. So this is essentially going to be equal to one when when z is false. Now, what if z is true? So suppose z is true, okay? Well, if z is true, then 
uh, let's take a look at that. Um, uh, if z is true, then we have uh, a different situation. Let's take a look. So if z is true, what we have is, whoops, that pin go. There it is. Okay. Great. Um, if z is true, then we still have this not y over here. We have more x, essentially, and because we are assuming z is true now, so on this side. Assume z. Okay. So then we have or, let's see, um, not x, y. Okay. And then we also have, okay, well, that, that's, okay, yeah, so those are the three terms that really matter um, in this case. So um, we have uh, x, right, from xz, by the way, this is, we're assuming z is true, so that becomes just plain old x. And then we have not y, which is this guy over here, and then we have uh, not x and y. Okay, so now, um, so, the way we can think of this is this, um, um, regardless of whether z is true or false, oh, sorry, whether y is true or false, we can have, we have x, y, or x, not y, right, because we originally had x here, so we're just expanding this out, we're unsimplifying, we're saying, well, this is x uh, and y, or x and not y, well, okay, um, and now we have over here, right, so we have basically all our possibilities, so we have, well, let's say almost all our possibilities, we have um, x and not y, we have not x and y, we have x and uh, y, and since we already had this, we have a not y over here, and we have an x and not y, we can also say not x and y, because not y takes care of both when x is false and when x is true, so this is also true in all cases, so no matter what, it's going to be equal to 1. So there you go.